All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today, as you guys probably guessed, we're going to be reviewing talk, uh, Toon Dark Magician. I mean, obviously, if I re review Toon Red Eyes, it's like, what's next? What's the next piece of the combo? It's Toon Dark Magician. Uh, once again, just like with Red Eyes, you'd think that this card would have been made a long time ago. Like, if you would have told me, you know, without even thinking that they would, you know, do an archetype, right? All right. Where they're going to do all the, you know, most popular b monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, okay, okay, I can go with that. Uh, mostly the boss monsters, but just mo mainly popular monsters. If you had told me that freaking Dark Magician Girl and Summon Skull were gonna get selected as tunes before Dark Magician, I wouldn't have believed you, but, you know, after all these years, here is finally Toon Dark Magician, and he looks exactly like how you would look. He's actually a little bit more serious than Toonie, you know, it just looks like a chibi Dark Magician, doesn't look like a Toon Dark Magician, but, eh, anyway, we're gonna head and review this, and hopefully it'll be another great Toon card. So, Toon Dark Magician, of course, just like regular Dark Magician stats. Uh, Dark Spellcaster, he's a Toon, Effect Monster, level 7. Uh, 2500 attack, 2100 defense, so Dark Magician stats, no surprise there. Zek reads, uh, cannot attack the Eternal Summon, just like all the Toons. You can't attack the Eternal Summon, because it really would seem like it'd be cheap. <laughs> I mean, it's always been like that, someone coming in, it's like, it's always been like that. Yeah, I, I know, I know it's always been like that, but, you know, especially with how fast the game is now, especially with the pendulum mechanic, like, you know how fucking cheap it would be if you just went and did, like, Toon, freaking Toon Magicians? Just set up your pendulum scale, pendulum call, set up your pendulum scales, 1-8, pendulum summon a whole bunch of Toons, just play your Toon Kingdom, tack, 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 game? Like, that, that would just be like, wow, <laughs> so... Uh, I know it's always been like that, but just how fast the game is getting, even when it was back when it's slow, that wouldn't be kind of, I mean, they're already attacking you directly, so that's already kind of cheap, but just to be able to summon during the turn they're summoning and just hit you directly, that, it just, you know, they're actually trying to give you a chance, so just for nostalgia purposes, uh, the card cannot attack the turn, it is summoned, period, normal summon, special summon, whatever. Uh, like control a toon world, and your opponent controls no toon monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly, alright, it's always been like that. Uh, but what is its individual effect? So, once per turn, you can discard one Toon card, or Manga Ry Ryu Ran. I mean, who the fuck plays that? But alright, you know, it's actually good that in they included him, because he kind of just fell out. It's like, hey, I I'm not a Toon, I'm Manga. Can I be in the Toon deck now? <laughs> so, uh, that's good. That's good that he's actually included this time. Then activate one of these effects. So, discard a Toon or Ma Manga Ryu Ran card? Oh, Toon card. Uh, card, period, so it'd be Toon Monster, Toon Speller Trap, just pitch it. You can either special summon one Toon Monster from your deck, ignoring the summoning conditions except for Toon Dark Magician. So similar to how Toon Red Eyes, you know, summons one of your Toon Monsters from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions, which would be great, and you can't summon Toon Red Eyes, because that would be some busted shit. <laughs> uh, you go ahead and special summon a Toon Monster from your deck summoning, uh, ignoring summoning conditions, except for Toon Dark Magician, because then, uh, depending on how many Toon cards you can pitch, you could loop it. You can go Toon Dark Magician, pitch, summon Toon Dark Magician, pitch, summon Toon Dark Magician, pitch, summon Toon Red Eyes. Oh, well, uh, I can attack the term, summon tack, 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 tack game. Like, no, no, no. So, you know, they're doing everything in their power to avoid it. But this card can combo off with, uh, of course, Toon Red Eyes. So you can go, like, you know, Summon Toon Red Eyes, Toon Red Eyes Effect, Special Summon Toon Dark Magician from your hand, Toon Dark Magician Pitch, Summon Toon Red Eyes, Toon Red Eyes, go ahead and summon uh, Toon Dark Magician from your deck, I mean from your hand, Toon Pitch a card, Summon Toon Red You can do that, you can go back and forth. Uh, neither one of these cards really say you can only activate the effect of that said monster once per turn. So you can go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth if you want to, if you choose to. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the other effect too. Uh, one, once again, once per turn, you can discard one Toon card or Manga Ryu Ran to activate this effect. Add one Toon Spell or Trap card from your deck to your hand. Oh, thank God you cannot Comic Can. <laughs> that would just be dirty. Just summon Dark Magician, pitch, get Comic Can, play Comic Can, take your monster. Like, no, no, no. You can't get Comic Can. It has to have Toon in the name. Uh, spell or Traps or Toon BK for Toon Kingdom or whatever, but it has to be a uh, Toon card. So, uh,. Once again, with the combo-centric plays, I have actually seen this, and I, uh, I've seen it actually either one or two times so far. Uh, as you guys know, Dark Magician, new Dark Magician support, this card will be in the, uh, the set, the, the Dark Illusion, along with all the other Dark Magician support. So, who's to say that you can't just put some Dark Magician support in your Toon deck and run it with your Toons, and special summon Toon Dark Magician? Who said you can't do that? 
no one exactly I and mean, that's the same similar to how you can just go ahead and summon uh you know toon red eyes with the black stone you can go ahead and summon this with all of your dark magician cards if you want to go ahead and summon it with eternal soul summon with eternal soul actually i'm not sure if you can do that actually but i know you can summon it with navigate i've seen it i've seen someone activate navigate special summon dark magician from their hand and then special summon toon dark magician from their deck so i know you can do that but i'm not sure about eternal soul but i know navigate so you can combo off with that you can combo off with like i said uh red eyes toon uh this is seven that is seven Make a big guy, make a Draco side, do whatever, you know? And some people actually want Toons to get, like, an actual XC monster. Like, what? Like, Toon Draco sack or something? <laughs> Just a rank 7 Toon monster? <laughs> Just because you can go ahead and make it really easily with comboing this with Toon Eyes. Like, all you have to do is just summon this, pitch, summon Toon Red Eyes, summon anything else from your hand with Toon Red Eyes. In fact, if you want to, XC those two into, like, a Toon Big Eye or a Toon uh, Draco sack and do your Toon shenanigans. But... Yeah, you know, like I said it's just a lot more combos, a lot more combos. So if you can go ahead and summon this out with like Navigate or Dark Magician support, and if you can summon out Red Eyes with uh, Blackstone, you might have to place outside just Tribute Summoning. Uh, like I said, Pendulum Summoning's not a, a bad idea either. You know, I, I I can definitely see that. Throw in the Magician Engine and go ahead and Pendulum Summon this guy, pitch, get a search or get a summon from your deck as well. Ignoring Summoning Kitchen, I mean Summoning from the deck, you know how powerful that is. You know, cards have gotten hit plenty of times just because they're like, wait, you summon from the deck now, you gotta get hit. You know, I can think of at least three examples right now. Summoner Monkey's hit because he summons from the deck. Tour Guy's hit because he summons from the deck. Uh... Graph is hit because it's summoned from the deck, like, so, you know, summoning from the deck is definitely a no-no when it comes to this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, this card being able to do that, ignoring summoning Gishin, so you can summon any Toon monster, even if it's just like, I don't know, I can't be special summoned, like, yes you can, because uh, your, your conditions are getting ignored, and that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll get to see a little bit more Toon playing I, i'm not still the biggest fan of tune someone actually asked me if if, if i were to play against tune i could play any deck against tunes what deck would i take i'd probably take dark magicians uh that spot removal during my opponent's turn is just so powerful because i've seen tunes even get dirty to the point where they play this card where they put a counter on their field spell and it can't be destroyed you know instead of playing field barrier so they'll play the card multiple times put multiple t uh counters tokens and be like ha 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 you can't you have to destroy my tune kingdom like five times before you can get rid of it how about i just banish it this spot banish it with the power of Dark Magician. Like, Dark Magician, don't fuck around with that deck. That deck's super good. So, yeah, that's what I'd probably take, you know. I already main deck in the Twin Twisters, and I just handle tunes with ease, you know. Just with ease of spot, banish. During your turn, go ahead and turn myself summon back my Dark Magician, banish. Oh, you got actually going to set some back rows? Alright, Dark Magic attack, wipe all your back row. It's just, yeah, so, yeah, I'd probably go with that. Just the banishing and the... Uh, Harpy's Feather Dash Dark Magician dot deck is so powerful. So you may get your Toon Dark Magician, but I'm gonna beat you with just regular Dark Magician. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about Toon Dark Magician in the comment section below. So I reviewed some Toon cards there. Still don't like the deck, uh, but maybe it'll do more combos. Like uh, I, I guess I can't be mad if they just go Toon Dark Magician pitch, summon Toon Red Eyes or some other level seven to make like a Big Eye or something. I mean that, that, that's outside of their norm at least. <laughs> at least they're not just attacking me directly. They're actually doing something. So. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Thanks for watching another episode of Card Review. We'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.